Richard Mosdell here, Kansas Sports Karate. As you can see, I'm surrounded by mats. We had our first Vancouver Island Karate Championships on the weekend, which we co-hosted with some fantastic people here on the island. Um, really great experience, especially the format, to have an officials course on Saturday, a refresher course Saturday afternoon, and then wonderful experience in Nanaimo where everyone could come in different directions. It was just great. Great to see such a wonderful turnout. And you can hear from my voice, uh, from uh, officiating, it's still just coming back. Also on this vlog, I'm gonna share with you guys a unique story. And I think the awesome thing that we are now in the golden age of information, especially in the karate world, and you can see any type of karate training video, any type of you know coaching video, any type of fitness video, and it's just getting better all the time. But people haven't heard it from you directly, and you haven't heard from me directly. So I want to keep sharing what I'm doing. Just, uh, it's just awesome, just awesome to document. So enjoy the very funny story that's on the, uh, that's coming on this vlog right now after this. Back in the day when there was just VHS tapes and you would get one and borrow it and pass it on and you'd finally find out uh, some tournament, some result from somewhere around the world. Those days, 20, 30 years ago, the youngsters don't even know what that was like. They don't even know that you had no idea what was going on. You were lucky if you heard about it. It's amazing how much content is out there, and I couldn't even watch half of half of half percent of anything. Um, it's, just, it's just amazing and it's awesome. But I also think that it gives us an opportunity. Why bother putting anything up anymore? Why bother sharing or telling anything about what you're doing, someone's already got the amazing kick, someone's already got the amazing picture, there's, there's no use. There's gonna be a point where too much information's out there, we don't need to put anything else. Well, you know, if we took that angle, if we accepted that argument, there'd be no movies or stories or romantic uh, adventures or uh, rom-coms or anything like that. The boy loves girl, girl hates boy story, it's been done, right? But it hasn't really been done. The thing is, the story about you or what we're doing, especially in karate, it's our story, right? They haven't heard it from us before. Our 1,000 fantastic friends, they haven't heard us give that story or go through that experience. And I think that's really important. Like, did you hear the story about the guy who really, really liked the girl and they're in school, and, but she just couldn't stand him? Not, only she, she didn't, not that she couldn't stand him, she just ignored him like he didn't even exist. Like he wrote a letter, put it on her desk, nothing. He got her flowers. You know, nervous, put it, you know, under his arm, snuck up on her after school, said, hey, you know, got this for you. She looked at the flowers, looked at him, boom, into the trash. It's like, man, this girl's fascinating, but she just, she just doesn't want to recognize that I exist. So, you know, he rents a mariachi band, goes to her house, so his rocks the window, playing his heart out, band's playing her heart out, he's trying to show something. She opens the window, boom, slams the window, calls the cops, they're there, they bust him, take him away, get him out of there. It ain't happening. Here's this girl, he's really fascinated, whether she's beautiful, or she's smart, or she's talented, or she's funny, she's not getting anything, anything from him. One day his mom picks him up, and uh, it's raining, it's terrible, he's in a terrible mood. Like, What's wrong? Like, mom, this girl, she's just giving me nothing. I mean nothing, absolutely nothing. And just as they pull out of the parking lot, in the car in front of him, is that girl with her mom. That's right, and they pull out in front, he's like, that's her, she's right in front of us. It's raining harder, and it's like lightning, and they like, you feel like crying, and they're following the car, kind of going the same direction, living in the same area. And, but then the car in front of him, the car with the girl, it slides, it catches a puddle, it goes sideways, goes off, and I'm serious, it goes right in the river. I'm, I'm serious, it goes in the river, slides in, flips upside down, his mom slams on the brake, he jumps out of the car, and he sees the tail end of the car just sliding, sliding into the river. Yeah, I'm serious, he runs down there, he jumps into the water, dives in, swims down, breaks the window, 
gets the girl out, gets the mom out, drags them up to the top. They're totally unconscious. The mom comes to, he's giving the girl uh, CPR, you know, and trying to keep her alive. Finally an ambulance comes, they package them all up, they take them to the hospital, and he's literally sitting at her bedside when she's in coma. So, yeah, sitting there, waiting to see what happened. This girl that hates him, right? She comes to, she finally comes to. Her family's there, he's like, he rushes over, he holds her hand, right? He looks at her, she looks at him, she's like, I get it. She says to him, I get it. I'm sorry, I've been mean to you. I really, really get it. You saved my life. Uh, I, I, I can kind of hear you when I was in a coma. You know what? I want to give it a chance. I want to give you a chance. And then he holds her hand, looks at her deep in the eye, and she says, No way. I'm out of here. That's right. He blew her off. Why? He goes, I gave you a note. I gave you flowers, a mariachi band, I was being nice to you, you kept blowing me off. That's it! You didn't want anything to do with me and the only way you're gonna love me is I have to save your life. To have any value, I have to do the ultimate. I have to risk my entire life to give the ultimate for you. It's just a story. Never happened. But you've never heard that story before because you haven't heard it from me. So I hope you enjoyed it because I've got a bunch of karate stories coming your way from the next vlog. And I think when we're out there in life, let's share all our fun stories. Let's be bold, let's be daring. If it makes us feel nervous, if we think we're gonna be criticized, then we definitely do it. Look forward to talking to you guys later, bringing you guys some new stuff, especially with all the big events coming up. And uh, I'm Richard Mosdell, talk to you later.